Hey, it's Erwin Brian here. Today we're going to go over how to use a multimeter to test for 12 volt ignition power on our harnesses. And we're also going to go over usage of a Noid light to test for injector pulse and ignition pulse on our harness. So first we're going to be using the multimeter. We're going to have it set to a 20 volt DC setting. That's going to allow us to test for the 12 volt circuit in the harness. Because without 12 volts, we're not going to get a pulse out of the injector. So the Noid light won't function. Now when using the Noid light, the Noid light's just a simple LED. Um, this is what we use for our check engine lights on our harnesses. So it has to be an LED or you can damage the ECU board. And the other important part is, since LEDs are polarity specific, obviously the red wire is going to be your 12 volt ignition side and the black wire is going to be the pulse ground from the ECU that's going to light up the light. So what we'll do is we're going to move to the LS1 test stand and we're going to go over a couple things on injectors and coils with you guys. Tell me when. All right, so we're over here at our LS1 display stand. We bring it to a lot of events. This is a fully functioning running engine on the stand and I've disconnected the fuel system, that way the engine doesn't start so we can test everything properly and uh, not smoke ourselves out in the building here. So the first test is what we're going to do, we're going to test for ignition power on an injector. On our LS harnesses, all the injector power and coil powers are merged inside the harness, it's a bus style configuration. So what we're going to do is start with this pink wire here which is going to be our ignition power. So we just want to make sure that uh, we don't touch a ground with it while we're testing it. I'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition switch on. And then we're going to go for a good ground. So right now we're going to use the engine block. So we've got about 11.3 volts, which is good. The battery on the test stand is probably just a little bit weak. That's why we're not reading 12. So what we'll do from here is we'll crank the motor over with the Noid light in place. And what that's going to do is it should flash showing us that we're having an injector pulse. So basically what that's doing is confirming that the injector is receiving the power and the signal from the ECU so that the injector will fire. All right, so as I said before, when you're using a Noid light, it has to be an LED. If you use a normal incandescent bulb, what will happen is you'll damage the driver on the board of the ECU. And you definitely don't want to do that. And now LEDs are polarity specific, like I said. So we're going to make sure that we have our positive in the ignition power wire. And we're going to make sure we have the negative in the trigger wire from the ECU. Now, right now we're illuminated, which is a good sign. Now we're going to crank it over. And as we crank it, it should flash when the injector is going to pulse. So we've got a good strong pulse out of it which means the injector is receiving power and the signal from the ECU. Now we're going to do the same thing on one of our ignition coils here. Now these coils happen to be an LS2 style coil. Also uh, can be found on LQ9 truck motors. So on these particular coils, the last two wires are a chassis ground on the outside. This one is a sensor ground that's going directly to the ECU. The odd color wire which is purple in this case, is going to be our signal. And pink, again, will be 12 volts. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead, we're going to pull our multimeter back out, and we're going to insert the pin there, and we're going to go to engine block ground here, and we've got right about the same voltage we had last time on the injector, so from there, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the Noid light, and we're going to see if we can get a pulse out of it. Now, this motor does run, so this is more of just a simulation, just to show you guys testing procedures. So let's see here. So again, ignition 12 volts is going to be our positive on the Noid light. And the signal, so we've got a, a light. So now when we crank it, it should flash. Now it did flash, so that's a good sign. It reacts a little bit differently than the injector driver because it has a different portion on the board. But um, 
So that shows us that we are cranking over and we're getting pulse to our injectors and our coils. And hopefully that'll help you guys test for troubleshooting problems in the future.